Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that the only way to overcome a perceived obstacle is to confront ourselves. Now, this, whether the obstacle seems too big, uh, there's an amount of fear within us that is symbolized by the obstacle. We must confront ourselves with the reality that we have chosen for ourselves. We must acknowledge the fear. We must acknowledge the feeling of being not strong enough or powerful enough to overcome something. And once we confront the source of that feeling within us, only then can we overcome what we perceive to be an obstacle. You see, uh, along our journey, we, we begin to believe this image of who we are. We begin to feed and nourish this idea of who we believe ourselves to be. But we're so much more. It doesn't matter the situations or environments that we allow ourselves to be into and how much they appear to validate this image. We're so much more. I know for myself, I've, uh, I've seen this within a brief period of my life, but more so in those that I deem to be better than me. There, there was this idea of status that I believed to be powerful and worth pursuing. And as I went further and further along my life, I began to realize not only the trappings of seeking status, but how easy and simple it is to fall into that method of, of thinking, of living, of choosing. This is not a knock on anyone who possesses, will possess, or has possessed a certain element of status that was impressive to others. Nah. I'm not saying status is bad. I'm sharing that along my journey, I've come to realize that many a time I've made choices to interact or engage with certain others, revere them in a certain light based off of status in a certain area of their life. However, over time, as I begin to confront myself and my choices and my beliefs and ideas, I begin to see how a sense of pride or ego in one area of life bled over to choices in other aspects of my life and how it didn't work out. So I, be, I begin to truly question my choices. I always say this, I don't have it figured out. I can, I can only see how I've made missteps along my journey and hopefully it helps others. One thing that I couldn't avoid was after confronting myself, I began to pay attention in totality to those that I revered as having valuable status. And many of these people were close to me the most and I begin to see a common theme the theme was a false sense of ego by false sense of ego I mean in their mind in their world they were way more important to other people than they truly were so we all operate out of a little bit of ego got it but I begin to see how falsely these people magnify themselves to a point of a almost delusion. And it was scary because when I was able to confront these ideas within myself, I was, I was able to see it so clearly in them and I felt bad for them. I felt bad because they had operated in that in that method of thinking for so long, the majority of them still do. 
they operated in it so long that anything outside of that doesn't make sense. Anything that comes against what they believe for themselves, it just doesn't, it doesn't even register to them. Now, we all have an element of this along our journey. And I don't even know if we can shake it. That's fine. I'm not knocking it. I'm simply expressing how being able to confront this idea within myself and being able to change that not only put me in a better place, but allowed me to remove myself from those stuck in that idea. Because over time, sometimes way faster than others, I begin to see everything around these people get destroyed. Adam. Now by destroyed, I simply mean that the way that they were reflected out in the world, the way they would tell it, is that everything is beautiful. But I'm reminded of something that I came across earlier this week where a gentleman stated, if ignorance is bliss, why aren't there more happy people? And when I saw that, I automatically thought about the people that I used to have around me that have bought into this idea of their image so much so that they refuse to truly look at themselves, to truly connect with themselves. And even as I went through well, my own changes, my own transitions as far as where I was headed in my journey, and I would express certain elements of myself, it was as if the concepts of me making changes, seeing myself in a different light, it, would, it was almost as if I was harming myself because how, how dare I speak against the image that I held myself to for the duration of the time that I've known them. So for a couple years, a uh, few of them for the majority of my life. I'm sharing this with you because I want to remind you of the power that you have. And no matter how easy it is to succumb to perceived images of who we are, we are so much more than that. We're a portion of God, the divine spark in our heart. And many a times we hold on to this idea of the image or the status that we have because that's the brain working. But when we operate more from our heart, when we express and act from that place, that's truly operating from spirit. And in doing so, it allows us to expand the ideas and beliefs of who we are, who we were, who we can be. It's never to shame the steps that we've taken in the past because they've gotten us to where we are in the present. It's simply a reminder that just as the steps from the past brought us here, we have so many more options of where we can head to. But for many in my past, they found a comfortable place, or at least they put on that persona, and they believe that as long as they uphold the image, that they lose nothing and gain the world. I don't know. For them, not only do they hold on to the idea as true, but it may actually be the truth that they're willing to set into for the rest of the journey. For myself, it wasn't enough. There was something more out there. I saw something that was more and I was okay, regardless of the amount of fear that came. And I kept stepping forward. Am I better than them? Not at all. Not at all. I just choose to move differently and hope that even in sharing some of these topics with you all that I can remind you to, that it's okay. It's okay if you want to change. It's okay if others don't understand. There will always be those that do not understand. Sometimes nobody will understand. Still press on. 
move forward. And sometimes you have an impact on one person, whether you know it or not, that keeps them from getting lost in the false idea of who they are. It may be you being genuinely open and honest, daring you sometimes, steadfast at other times. But as long as you're giving yourself that space to operate from your heart, you never know who you're going to impact. And in a world that is filled with graven images that are forever changing, forever created and destroyed, forever upheld and put down, Sometimes, simply being genuine with your heart is all that you have to do to help somebody else. It's not a popularity contest. It's not a how much can I have or obtain contest. No, it's a celebration of the beauty of everyone's individual journeys. And understanding that whether some know it or not, sometimes even those who are caught up in their image of self, sometimes they appreciate you because you're genuine in heart. They may not know how to express it. They may not even recognize it along their journey because they have their own path. But for yourself, you owe it to yourself to open your heart and when you can release parts of that image or parts of your mind that are holding you back yeah your destination may not be exactly what you thought it was going to be but you'll be surprised at seeing that it's way better than you could ever imagine just by being open with yourself express from that place your heart until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.